This isn't going to be the typical video you're used to seeing on this channel, but this was something I absolutely had to do. Before I get into any details, yes, all the downloads for this stuff are in the description, so if you're interested in this at all, go, go check that out. As I was browsing the Gary's Mod Workshop the other day, I discovered this mysterious add-on titled G-Saber that claimed to replicate Beat Saber's gameplay in Gary's Mod, in VR at that. There was no video on the workshop page or any screenshots, only a handful of comments and a very vague description. I downloaded it and to my surprise it was indeed what it claimed to be. It was Beat Saber, nearly identical and entirely inside Gary's mod. I won't be going over how to install this mod in this video as the instructions are all in the description. What I am going to be covering in this video today is a direct comparison of everything currently available in G-Saber to the original Beat Saber, as well as reviewing its functionality. First of all, G-Saber can use any custom Beat Saber song, meaning you can just go download some songs made for Beat Saber, drop it into Gary's mod, and then play the exact same chart without any needed tweaks. It barely even mentions this ability in the description for some reason, but it really should considering this is probably the most important feature. Alright, to start things off, I loaded up the original Beat Saber and took a look around the main menu. Then I looked around the main menu room of G-Saber. It's a near identical copy, although the source engine isn't very capable of pulling off fancy lighting or fog, so it's about as close as you could get with what Gmod provides. Next I selected six songs of varying difficulty and note patterns. I will play through each one, first in the original Beat Saber as our control, and then in G-Saber. Timestamps for each playthrough of the songs will be in the description. First off is Alan Walker's Fade in the original Beat Saber. There's really nothing to say about how it plays here as Beat Saber itself was pretty much flawless in terms of gameplay, but I'll be giving a detailed overview of how things play out in the Cheese Saber version. Now for the G-Saber playthrough. So first of all, I missed these notes in the beginning when I should have clearly hit them and I ended up failing the song. I tried again and decided to try swinging a little harder, making sure to follow through with my swings and swinging a little bit earlier. This time it worked, save for a few blocks missed here and there due to some glitchy hit detection.
All right, so far so good. At this point, this is already much more than I could ever ask of a Gmod add-on. Next up is the Halo theme Mjolnir mix in the original Beat Saber. As before, there's not much to say about this. Everything works as expected of the original Beat Saber. And the G-Saber playthrough of the Halo theme, though, is where I really started to notice how hard you really have to swing in G-Saber. By the end of this one, I was absolutely exhausted. I was impressed at how well it could handle complex note patterns, though, as I expected the hit detection to completely go out the window with some of the more complicated stuff. But it held up pretty dang well in that regard. Next up is the Payday 2 song Clean Getaway. In G Saber, this song was okay, all except for the parts where there were really fast up and down patterns. It tended to lose all hit detection completely whenever I'd flick my arm up and down fast enough to hit the pattern correctly, and I ended up failing the song. There's a possibility this might be my fault though, because it seemed to work perfectly fine on my right side, but every time that pattern would show up on my left, all heck would break loose. Now, Vortal Combat from the Half-Life 2 Episode 2 soundtrack.
In G Saber, this one did not last long at all. For some reason, the notes felt way more difficult to hit than the previous G Saber songs, and whenever this note pattern showed up where I had to crisscross my arms, everything went out the window. The final test, I felt, was bound to break G-Saber. It was the most difficult, most convoluted song I had in my library, and ironically, also one of the most relaxing. But first, the control. Playing Resonance in G-Saber, I was pleasantly surprised to find that it worked near flawlessly, and although I missed far more notes than I did in the real Beat Saber, I'm pretty satisfied with the results.
All right, so final verdict. Looking at G-Saber as if it were a real game available for purchase, there's definitely loads of room for improvement and I will definitely not bother paying for this. But looking at G-Saber as what it really is, a free mod for another mod of a very, very old video game, this is fantastic. The guy who made it said that it's still in very early development state right now, so there's a strong possibility of updates and fixes. But as it stands, especially if you're broke and don't have enough cash for Beat Saber, this is really good. <laughs> the fact that it uses Gmod sound effects in place of everything is a little janky, but to be honest, it kind of has a sort of a charm to it for me, and I could very easily look past this. It's also a lot harder to see in G Saber compared to Beat Saber, as the notes and bombs don't have much lighting on them like they do in the original. Anyways, please show the guy who made this some support. This mod doesn't have a lot of recognition at the moment, and the fact that he was able to do this at all deserves a lot of attention. Hope you have fun playing with this mod, and just so you're aware, we will be doing another episode of Half-Life 2 co-op in VR soon, as well as some other gameplay videos that I'm really excited about.